You're live on Scotty's phone in. Good morning. Good morning, Scotty. It's Paul from Air. Paul from Air. Good morning, sir. Nice to hear you. Right, I've just got some, something for Henry here. Yes. I mean, he wants to stop pensions at... Um, 70. He wants to completely stop. No NHS, no pensions, no help for anyone over 70. Once over 70, 70, which is the biblical lifespan. The Bible tells us three score years and ten, is that right? That's the allotted lifespan, yes, and some may live longer, but um, if God is gracious. But if he's going to take that attitude about the Bible, there's a verse in the Bible that says this, We commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Yes. In other words, so you know... Henry, Henry should not be getting any benefit. Precisely. So the same, the same rule would apply then, Paul. If you're, if you're not going to give people over 70 any help, then why should you give people who do not work, like Henry, any help, who are, who are fit and well? Yes. Mm. Yes, good point. Excellent point. Yes, first class, Paul. I like that one. Right. Um, there's another thing which has been exercising me um, quite a bit, actually, yesterday and, this, and during the night. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there's, there's trouble coming. Right. Well, you've spoken a bit about this a bit before, but I found that in the States there are people who are very aware of what is happening. They're informing people what is happening. They're watching the news. And we are months, if not even weeks away from a major, major crisis, a worldwide crisis. No one seems to be interested in this country or preparing or informing it's very disturbing. Now, where, where's all this come from, Paul? I mean, you, you haven't invented this then during the night. No, no. No, this um, is... I'm, I've been monitoring things for a long time. Right. And they really are reaching crisis point. Now, do, uh, but, uh, are we not uh, able to rely on Gordon Brown and uh, Alistair Darling and giants of the nation like that to sort all this out? Definitely not. They're part of the problem. Ah, they're uh, they're taking us into it. Would another would another party help? I mean, we're going to get an election in about a year. We may get an election in about a year. Right. Well, I, I, I would I would have thought I wouldn't be too far away that there would be an election on say the first of May, two thousand and ten. Would that that be election may not happen? Right. Um, the how can I put this? The economy is in absolute meltdown. Um, we're heading for hyperinflation within, as I say, months or weeks. We're heading for the collapse of the dollar, the pound. It's all in place and it's all going. And no, the no. one world government and the one world banking system is just around the corner. Now, is, is this, I mean, obviously, if what you're saying is the case, then it would have been planned. Now, if it's planned, does that not make it a good thing? It's been planned, but it is definitely not a good thing. But why, why would politicians plan something that's not good for the people? <laughs> the politicians that, that are running governments in the main are actually puppets. They don't really have a lot of control, and if they try to take the control into their own hands and get countries out of this, then they are dealt with. Right. But um, why, why would anybody not want what's best for the people? I can't understand that. Because there are a group of people out there who basically, all right, are, I mean, they would, they would be, say, Luciferian or Satanists, but they're very, very powerful people out there. They've been guided by Satan, and they are out to dominate the world, and they are very close to doing it. Yeah, but I mean, I can't see God letting that happen because God is good and Satan is evil. So, good always triumphs over evil. It will in the end. But as we've spoken about before, there will be this beast who will be ruling the world for 42 months. And as well, I say... Why, why, it, why, why would, why would uh, uh, you know, if, uh, I'm taking your belief uh, system here, Paul. Why would God let that happen? Because, obviously, you know, God is all-powerful, he is omnipotent, and, um, you know, the devil has been dealt with through the ages. He's letting that happen because man will 
not listen to God. Man will not believe the word of God. He blasphemes him. He um, goes the opposite way. He um, indulges in the, you know, the the permissive society, adultery, fornication, murders um, children in the womb, um, allows for all the... Yeah, but I mean, I mean, surely, uh, you know, surely God is man made flesh. Uh, man, uh, man is, is is God made flesh. Jesus Christ was God in the flesh, mm-hmm. and the world crucified him, and they are still not interested in him in the main. Well, I, well, I, can't, I mean, you, you see, it's very strange here, Paul, because if we. If we deeply believe in God and that system, you're now saying that God's actually letting this happen. He's yes. the sort of He's the sort of villain of the peace. So God, God is it's God that's making it happen. God's allowed these devil worshippers that you say are around to run the show. I mean, surely yes, he has, it, he has it, allowed it. it. It's part of His judgment, which is coming upon the earth. Right, but if you try to get a job in this country, Paul, right, you're vetted for that job, aren't you? You're interviewed, and people make a decision. And all the way through our lives and careers, people make a decision. Now, if you end up in charge of a country, I would have thought that would have meant that you are the best person for the job, that your qualifications are beyond reproach. And that you, that you, you know, worship the, the great power superior to mankind. And that's why you're running the show. Generally what happens, you're as running the, the show the, because... the Americans you, say, and God we trust. You, you've appealed to the major, to the majority of the population, and you generally do that nowadays by being an actor. You do not do that by being someone who has... High ideals. But, I mean, what, people... but surely, surely your training and everything. For instance, Her Majesty the Queen has got very high ideals. She has been trained since birth for the job that she's done for the last 57 years and done it extremely well. So, yeah, you know, I she, can't she understand. Has, but she's not. She's not been allowed by her ministers to uphold her coronation oath. Well, perhaps, therefore, we need to go back to the absolute power of the monarch in this country and throw the politicians out. Yes, I mean, I, uh, kings, kingship or the monarchy is, is one form of biblical government. Well, of course, you can trace Her Majesty the Queen's line right back to, to God himself. And the, the, um, the thing about the monarchy, though, again, is that the country gets the monarch that the country deserves. So it may not be so good for this country unless we have a monarch who is going to be so strong that they are going to revert back to the laws well, of the Bible. Well, let me just say to you that I got told recently that a lady had seen in a vision that Prince Charles is the new Messiah. There, there are lots of people around who are having all kinds of visions, but the question is whether it, this is the truth. Well, I don't know. I'm only, I'm only telling you what I've heard about what vision this lady had. I'm, uh-huh. I'm purely being the, the, the messenger here. There's only one Messiah, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, is the Lord Jesus Christ going to live through Prince Charles? No. The Lord Jesus Christ has a how, physical how, body resurrected from the dead, um... And, and that is how he will be returning. There is there's no person on this earth. Would it not be better walking through an earthly person who knows all the kind of pitfalls of the earth? Jesus Christ knows all the pitfalls of the earth, and we have his word. We have the Bible. Right. Well, why does he not pop back a little bit sooner and deal with the beast? He'll be popping back at just the right time, and he will deal with the beast. Right. So, so things are actually looking well. I mean, when you came on, it was doom and gloom, but you'd say that, uh, that the big picture is that things are looking well. Well, the big picture is, yes, that there will be a new heaven, a new earth, that um, there will be the resurrection of the dead, of the believing dead will right. um, experience eternal life. So, so everybody, everybody's coming back. Yes, uh, but the unbelieving dead, right. um, they will be cast into the lake of fire. So. Yeah, but when you're dead, are you not?